Hello, longboarding mom. I am being a rebel today. It's, I like um, Autumn's saying, my kitchen, my rules. So I am making burritos in a jar. I'm going to water bath them. Um, it's a simple little recipe that my sister sent me. Um, it's gonna be in little pint sized jars, uh, not little, that's about enough food for two to maybe three people depending on how what size burritos you're gonna be making and stuff. Um, I told my son I was gonna make these and it's gonna be something simple for him just to dump into a, a, a pan and be able to make himself burritos when we're not home and stuff. So um, I'm gonna get started on that, but first I gotta make monkey butter. I promised my neighbor that I would bring her a jar of monkey butter and I was all out. My son ate it all on his um, oatmeal. Lie, lie, lie. I ate it all on my ice cream. Okay, I shared too. He had some on his oatmeal. But, um, so I'm gonna make some for her. She shared with me. Um, I got macaroni and cheese in a jar. I've got some mushrooms, salsa, some more cowboy candy. Oh, and she did cream cheese. So I'm gonna have to try cream cheese one day. I think that's really cool. So these are all fun things to do. And remember, my kitchen, my rules, your kitchen, your rules. So let's get started on making burritos in a jar. We are making burritos in a jar. Um, the first thing I am going to do is make the, season, the taco seasoning um, for these jars here. So I need eight tablespoons of chili powder, but I only have this chili pepper, so I'm going to do half. Um, I'm going to do four tablespoons instead of eight because it's kind of spicy. And this isn't all going in the jar. Um, I'm going to do two teaspoons of onion, granulated onion. I don't have granulated or onion powder, but this is like really powdery. So two teaspoons of this. This is basically kind of how I make my seasoning anyway. It calls for oregano, but I don't have oregano powder and I tried to like food process it over here, um, but it's not really powdery. And I don't add that to my taco seasoning anyway, so I'm not gonna add that to it. I want two teaspoons um, garlic powder that I do have. and I'm not like making them flat. They are kind of keeping teaspoons. Um, two teaspoons of paprika, which I usually don't add paprika to mine, but we are going to this time to give it that color, right? And two tablespoons plus two teaspoons black pepper. That's a lot of black pepper, huh? One, two. I'm gonna mix that around before I add more pepper. I need eight tablespoons of I'm gonna do this one. One. I'm gonna do it. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. 
seven, eight. I just realized that I was using a half a tablespoon, so I didn't even use the right amount of pepper. I'm going to add some restless pepper. Mm. That smells like, like a taco seasoning. Okay, oh, sorry, I'm kind of talking a little quiet here. I'm a little nervous. I've never made burritos in a jar before. My sister's done it several times. So we are going to use the half a tablespoon um in each jar so we need to do this in a certain order and it says to do a quarter cup of dry pinto beans in the bottom of each jar one tablespoon of rice. I didn't have any brown rice and so all I have is the white rice. My sister said white rice is okay. So we're going to do one tablespoon into each jar. So we've got a quarter cup of pinto beans, dry pinto beans in each cup or in each pint jar, one tablespoon, and that's my tablespoon in each jar. And we need onion. So I'm going to get um, onion, give me just a second. I'll be right back. So I got some onion cut. I'm not going to put onion in all of my jars because my son does not like onion. It calls for onions and bell peppers and I don't have any bell peppers today. So we are just going to do onion and it calls for a quarter of a cup in each jar. So we're going to dump a quarter of a cup. These are going to be perfect for lunches, um, dinner for my son when we go on our trips. Okay, I'm going to put that in here and the rest in that one. Quarter cup. Quarter cup. So it calls for a quarter cup of onion and a quarter cup of bell pepper. I do not have bell pepper. I already said that. So we're moving on to three quarters of a cup of ground meat in each one. We're going to go one, two, three, 
three. One, two, three. So glad I did as much meat as I did. So I did actually two of my packages of hamburger. We don't always make one pound packages because we don't usually, um, with just the three of us, we don't eat, need a whole pound of meat. So we do a smaller packaging. Look at there, I don't even have enough to make my last one. Yeah, one and not even a quarter. Okay. I have to make more meat later. I actually have to make more meat for dinner tonight, so I'm gonna get that out, thaw it out, but I'm gonna keep on going here. I'm just going to do what I got. So I need two tablespoons of the Rotel. I got no salt added. One. And you can get probably the diced, I'm thinking the diced Tomatoes with um, green, what, what, what would they be? The green chilies in it? That would be really good. I was thinking about doing that because I had those already, but it said Rotel, so that's what I got because I think these got like flavor or something. I don't know. See there, I think I only really had enough to make five. Okay. One, yeah, I had enough to make one more. So if I would have had two pounds, it probably would have been a right. Um, so we have one, two more ingredients, our seasoning and some chicken or beef broth. And my tablet closed on me. So let's see. We need one half tablespoon of our taco seasoning. So this recipe um, that my sister sent to me, you can um, make them in these pint jars or you can make them in the quart jars and it actually gives you a recipe for both of the jars on um, what to put in both of them. I guess I should have been doing this, huh? I'm going to clean the edges anyway with some vinegar. Okay. And now we are going to add beef broth um, to this container until you fill it up to the top. Not the top all the way, just... It says, with beef broth with normal head space. So up a little bit. So that way um, your beans and your rice get cooked. 
And I'm going to have to open up a couple more cans. Smells really good. All right, one more can. Okay, I'm going to clean up this mess just a little bit. I'm going to clean the edges with some vinegar and seal these. I'm going to seal these and I'm going to water bath them. The water should be cold because these are cold we are going to put them in the container and let it come up to the boil as soon as it starts boiling then we're going to set our timer for three hours and we are going to make sure we keep on the stove um some hot water ready to boil so that we could put it in um so that it can keep boiling for the three hours and not lose any of its water so I'll, I'll, we'll be back in a little bit and I will show you what these look like. Three hours later.